Spin. What do you like? Okay, what do you like? What is that, a ballerina? Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. As you can see today, we got a lot of ground to cover. I'm going to be talking about uh, handle materials on vintage knives. And um, we're not going to talk a whole lot. Of, uh, it's not going to be an educational video. I'm just showing you the different handle materials and um, how they play out in a uh, as a cover material on uh, knives. And um, my collection, I wanted to be representative of American cutlery from the 1800s all the way up today. And so part of that is collecting different kinds of uh, handle materials that that um, we used in our knives. So uh, let's get right to it. And the first up is wood. Almost any kind of wood could be used in a knife. This is walnut right here. This is curly maple. This is laminated wood, sometimes called frost wood because uh, Jim Frost was the uh, first one to do this. It's actually uh, mul multiple layers of wood that's stained. This is rosewood, one of the most common woods used in uh, knives. It's a pretty, it can range from uh, orange color all the way into um, kind of like a red. This is a nice coca bola from um, Wolstingholm. You can see um, that characteristic kind of uh, red color in it. It's natural. They don't dye these. And it's got a little darker because of uh, oil. You have uh, ebony, which is uh, usually jet black, but it can have uh, traces of brown in it as well. Um, African black wood can be actually striped uh, brown and black. And if wood's not beautiful enough, we can do all kinds of things to make the wood pretty. This is uh, from the late 1700s. It's a gravity knife. You can see that right there. And um, inside here you have brass inlays, mother of pearl, and there's also copper inlays right there. And... Um, there's over a thousand little pins in this knife. It's absolutely uh, remarkable. Here's a simpler design. This is a silver inlaid to create a vine motif. It's an Austrian from the turn of the century. Um, of course, we can use metal. This is just plain uh, carbon steel um, that's cast. So they put it in a mold and they mold it that way. You can have uh, stainless steel, and this is a uh, machine stainless steel. You can have aluminum. This is nickel. Cool knife here. Of course, silver. This is a uh, green and uh, yellow gold. Pretty cool knife. Brass. It's an old knife. This is a uh, more brass and nice cool design. Put it into this knife. It's a French knife. This is gunmetal. It has a nice rose color. And um, all that is is they put more copper into uh, brass. And they um, bring about a darker color. It's really pretty though. You can also uh, do all kinds of geometric designs with metal. You can engrave it. This is aluminum here.
and you can do relief work on it. And of course our favorite bone, old bone from Robitson here. Excelsior Knife Company. Beautiful, isn't that? Beautiful bone. This is Canton Cutlery. Bone has been replaced on this knife though. Nice job though. You can also have it deeply grooved to look like a um, stag, but it's bone. Nice queen knife there. Bone can be plain, and it's just as pretty plain. Smooth bone. Sometimes we burn it. This is burnt bone. And we can also put stag on it. This is a nice old stag on a uh, sportsman's knife. Actually a horseman's knife. A stag on an A.G. Russell. Color's kind of worn on this. A stag on a Robitson. GEC stag. This would be sandbar stag here. This is probably sandbar stag. And of course, we can color bone. Nice green hues to this. This is a bulldog knife. This is a shred green bone knife. Blue. Midnight blue from Case. And, you know, we could put about any color you want on that bone. Ugh. There's another green from Case. Could go to Horn. This is Ram's Horn from Rough Rider. Natural Horn from Frost. Horn was often uh, colored. This is green horn. And I forgot, I think this is CJ Johnson. Yeah, C. Johnson. This is a hen and rooster and horn. It's dyed black, but you can see the horn coming through on it. There's another one dyed black. Kissing crane. You can have ivory. It's an old knife here, 1860s. Another one from the 1860s. Diamond. Ivory. Tortoise shell from uh, Wolstingholme. Old knife. 1890s. And also Mother of Pearl. Beautiful mother of pearl. This 
It's a combination. Abalone, mother of pearl. Nice. More abalone. And also celluloid. So celluloid could be um, pretty plain with just some colors in it. Or it can be pretty fancy. This is a Shrade Cutlery Company knife. I think this is uh, supposed to be fake um, tortoiseshell. Really, I call it a uh, lava flow, but I think that's what that is. That's a fighting rooster knife there. This is a bulldog. That's what we love about celluloid. Look at all the colors in this thing. It's beautiful. Christmas tree. Fake tortoise shell. Waterfall. This is a Walden knife. Walden knife company. New York knife company. Beautiful color on that. It's waterfall too, but it's mostly dead. It's not moving. Cutmaster. Butter and molasses by uh, Buffalo Knife Company. <coughs> This one's an Imperial. It's a Shipley. And of course we can have all the colors of the rainbow. This is a Remington candy stripe. Nice gold in there. Burgundy color. And it could be just clear, and you can have, uh, come on, snap down, nudie pictures. Um, that leads to plastic. When you get into plastics, all just all kinds of different things you can do. This is a clear plastic. This is a plastic with just a little engraving and some uh, gold flake put on it. There you go. New York Knife Company engraved. I think this is celluloid. This is um, Karen. Karen. Southwestern style with uh, plastic uh, simulated stones. And with plastic, you can do anything with it. Do all kinds of crazy stuff like this. Like that. Genuine stone. Takes a lot more work to do this. Genuine turquoise, um, bloody jasper, spiny uh, oyster. This is um, woolly mammoth molar with uh, mother of pearl and a 
in the middle. That cool looking. And that's dinosaur bone. Real ox, real stone. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video.